Want to know one of the main reasons why websites don't convert cold traffic into leads and sales? Because they are hella distracting. You know, when you're on a website, it has a home page, it has an about page, a shop, a service page, a contact us page, and most of them even have a blog. There's honestly so much for people to do on a website. People, they get distracted. And because they are distracted, they won't actually take the action that you want them to take. Let's change that for your business. Hey there, my friend. Welcome back to another episode on the More Than Social podcast. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. To begin, I want you to imagine this, okay? You go to a website, let's say, to book an appointment with a chiropractor. You see on the website that they have a new blog post on the best stretches to help for a sore back. So you start reading that post. You start learning different things. Then all of a sudden, your phone rings. So you pick it up. It's your friend who you haven't talked to in a while. So you're chatting, you're chatting, you're chatting. 20 minutes go by. You hang up the phone. You run out the door to go to the store because you forgot something. A couple weeks later, you're sitting on the couch and you realize you never booked that chiropractor appointment. Seriously, how many times has that happened to you in your life? You got distracted, which pulled you away from doing the one thing that you wanted to do in the first place, aka book that appointment. Honestly, it happens to everyone, so don't feel bad. I'm not calling you out. I'm just making a point here. But that is the number one reason why I don't drive my social media ads to websites when I'm trying to generate leads and sales online. Instead, you want to use something called a sales funnel. So a sales funnel is basically a process that guides potential clients or customers from initial contact all the way to the actual sale. The main difference between using a funnel compared to a website is that with a funnel, what you're doing is you're actually walking that prospect step by step. And the key, they can only do one thing at a time. Only one thing. They can literally only do one thing. There's no pages to click off to. There's no blogs. There's no information that's going to get them super distracted. It's honestly just straight to the point. Do this. Click this button. The next step. So the goal really of a sales funnel is to provide value up front to gain that trust. And ultimately, the end goal really is to convert them into those paying clients. Now, a well-designed sales funnel really has three main components. It has a lead generation aspect, a lead nurturing, and a conversion optimization. So the lead generation side of it consists of activities really to attract that dream client to you and capture their contact information so that they can begin that customer journey with you. So I will always use a lead magnet for this step of some sort. Now that lead nurturing involves engaging with prospects over time to build relationships, to increase that trust and ultimately convert them into those paying clients. For this one, I would use email marketing. And lastly, the conversion optimization really focuses on optimizing that customer or client experience so that it is so easy and so possible for that person to become a client with you. So that's when you are going to send people to a checkout page, a booking calendar, depending on what stage or where you want to send them within your business. Now, another big key with sales funnels is that you actually customize the conversation that you're having with them. So for example, let's say within your business, you have multiple prospects, okay? Multiple categories. In each prospect, you may need to have a different conversation with them to actually turn them into paying clients based on where they're at. Now, with a sales funnel, you can create a funnel or a page per conversation or category within your business, really to improve the overall performance. So for example, let's just say with a mortgage agent, you could have a funnel that talks to first time home buyers, and then you can have a completely new funnel that talks about refinances. So that way you can connect with the prospect on a deeper level, moving them into paying clients quicker. Now, another huge, huge benefit of using sales funnels for lead generations and sales over websites is that you can continuously and really, really easily and quickly make changes to the page. And the reason why you do that is to increase conversions. So I'm going to say it again. I repeat this all the time. One of the best aspects of digital marketing is that the numbers tell you everything. What is working? What is not working? Now, with a sales funnel, you can actually track every single step that that prospect takes through that entire funnel, aka through their entire customer journey with you. And you make small tweaks where people are falling off. So over time, as you continuously tweak things and you're increasing conversions, you are developing a really easily scalable system. 
Now you can combine your sales funnels with email marketing, really, if you want to take it to the next level and have an automated system that allows you to nurture those leads over time without you manually having to follow up with every single lead. So for example, when you generate a new lead or a prospect with that lead magnet, you can automatically send emails to that person at predetermined times based on triggers or actions that they take. Again, all without any manual effort from you. Now, I talk a lot about email marketing on this podcast, so you know that I love it. But in short, when you combine a funnel instead of a website and you really combine that with email marketing, you're going to save time, you're going to save money, and it will help you generate more leads and sales overall within your business. So long story short for today, ditch the website and focus on funnels to generate leads and sales for your business. Well, actually, that's bad advice. Don't ditch the website altogether. It, it still is very important, but use your website for providing valuable information, kind of like a high level business brochure that will help build that credibility with potential clients. Then use your sales funnels for any marketing aspects for lead generation and online sales. Now, both are really, really important to any successful business online. It really just comes down to understanding how they kind of work together and which ones to focus on when. So I'm going to leave that quick tip with you today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on social media. I'm always here to chat about this stuff. Honestly, I can go on and on and on about it, but I'll leave it with you just to think about that. Sales funnels versus websites, especially if you are looking to generate leads in sales for your business, focus on having customized funnels, okay? Anyways, have the best day. I will see you next week, same time, same place. Bye for now.